Today, our special guest is Charlie Wood, uh, Dunwoody. He is the Senior Director for National Accounts for Holland America. Before we start, I want to take a few moments to give you a little bit of information regarding this webinar. First of all, my name is Lorene Romero. I am the NACTA webinar hostess with the mostess. If you have any questions, please feel free to go into the chat box in the background and uh, send me a message and I will get back to you promptly. And speaking of that, on the right hand side of the web, you will find the webinar panes in there. If you have any questions for Charlie, please put them in the question box. At the very end of his presentation, we will have a Q&A session and I will ask your questions then. This webinar is being recorded and then we will put it up on the NACTA website within the next week or so. I will be putting myself on mute, that way it will prevent any background sounds from occurring during his presentation. And as a reminder, all of you are on mute also for the very same reason. Again, if you have any questions, please put them in the question box. I will get to them at the very end of his presentation. So for now, I am going to turn the reins over to Charlie. Thank you, Charlie, for being here. It was wonderful to see you at the NACTA conference a couple of weeks ago. We were at Kona. So if any of you on the line were there, you would have seen Charlie. He is a great supporter of NACTA, a really good guy, and a wonderful person to lead a presentation. So here here you go, Charlie. I'm turning myself on mute. Well, thank you, Lorene. Uh, that was a very fabulous introduction, and uh, it's always a great pleasure to work with our partners at NACTA to uh, uh, jointly pr uh, promote our industry and, and more specifically Holland America Line. And I want to let you know that we're always here for you to support you in any way we can. So uh, what I'd like to do today is go through a presentation that's going to last about 40 minutes. Uh, it's got a uh, chuck full of new information on changes we're making at Holland America Line and enhancements. I covered some of these at, um, at uh, the conference over in Hawaii, but we've added some new stuff. So this is going to be chock full of great information on how Holland America Line will be proceeding going into the future. Now, as you know, um, many people think that um, Holland America Line is the uh, cruise line for old folks. But um, our guests, we did a big study, and uh, it's not about age. And here are the actual statistics of what Holland America Line is all about. The average age is 59, uh, almost split between half and half between uh, female and male, but the females dominate, which I'm sure everyone's happy about that. Uh, income of about 100000 um, per household. And 45% of our guests uh, have sailed with us before on every cruise, and about 55% are new to HAL. Now, I just want to stop on a, a quick point here. Um, Vicki Freed said um, on one of the conferences from the stage that Royal Caribbean's repeat factor for the same travel agency two times in a row is 25%. So that means that a guest or a client will use the same travel agent two times in a row 25% of the time. With Holland America Line, that number is 47%. So 47% of the time, if you book someone on Holland America Line, they're going to rebook with you. So what does that mean? It's like an annuity when you put someone on Holland America Line because you put them on the right ship and they enjoyed it so they get back to you because you put great experience uh, in front of them. So we also did a huge study. The whole Carnival Corporation studied all of our guests, the Princess guests, the Seaborn guests, the Holland America Line guests did focus groups, and this is what we've come up with, that the guests that travel on Holland America Line, it's not about age, it's more of a psychographic. They're globe-trotting learners. So what does that mean? They love to travel and spend a lot of money. Uh, they appreciate touches of luxury, so that's why we have our great suites with a Neptune Lounge. But here's interesting. They seek a good, a good value in order to travel more frequently. So they may not be buying a super luxury cruise, which they could afford, but they come with Hall of America Line because they may do two or three a year. They're definitely destination driven. They want to go to international destinations. They want to seek enriching experience that are real uh, and authentic. They don't want to go to some uh, theme park. Um, they're excited to learn and engage rather than passively sightsee. So they're totally in, in, in tune with where they're going. 
and they appreciate our rich heritage and classic style, not the hip and trendy. So let's spend a couple minutes on what does classic style mean? So what sets us apart? All America Line uh, has classic style with a modern twist, built on our uh, heritage of 142 years in the cruise business, and one could argue that Holland America Line is the world's most experienced cruise line. Now, our sister company, Cunard, would argue that because they are technically older than we are, but we have more ships and go to more destinations, so I always win that argument. Um, so also what sets us apart is our enriching journeys, um, our authentic, uh, personalized destination experience. So um, that's what Holland America Line is about. So let's talk about the classic style and uniquely Holland America Line. So what is classic style? So trendy and modern can be instantly obtained, but classic must pass the test of time, remaining relevant by adaptation. In other words, you have to earn it to become classic, like Burberry, like Mercedes, like the Four Seasons Hotel. So what is classic about Holland America Line? Our mid-sized ships, our blue hulls, the brass brightware throughout the ship, our deep seagoing heritage, our service culture, the uh, museum quality art throughout every vessel, our crow's nest, which is on all of our ships, and also our wraparound keek deck that you will find uh, on, our, on our ships that makes it classic. You don't go out onto uh, AstroTurf or something that's blue or green. We actually have the teak decks that wrap around the ship. So that's what makes us different with our classic style. Our service culture is second to none. Uh, we have a genuine, uh, warm, uh, true feeling service culture with our crew. Uh, we have one crew member for every two guests. And one thing that you may not be aware of, but we have our stateroom direct service program. So that means when your clients, our guests, show up at the pier and we begin embarkation at 11.30 in the morning, the staterooms are ready. So when they board the ship, they don't have to go to somewhere to put their hand luggage and then everybody then will jam the Lido and everybody's on line, long lines for lunch. You walk on board a Holland America Line ship, you go right to your stateroom, you can put down your hand luggage, you can relax for a minute, and then you casually will go maybe get some lunch. And what that does is makes the first day of the cruise so much more pleasurable. There's no lines in the Lido, uh, and everybody really gets to settle down and, and really feel like you're at home uh, when you board our ship. So we think that's a, a very, very key factor of difference. We've got some stunning new ships on the way. Uh, the MS Koningsdam will uh, arrive in April of 2016. Uh, we have a second Koningsdam uh, under construction right now. Uh, she'll come in 2018, and we have an option for a third. So we're very excited to have our brand refreshed with these unbelievably beautiful vessels. Uh, she'll carry uh, 2,650 uh, 2, guests, about 99,500 tons. Many of the parts of the ship were designed by Adam Tahani as you look at the restaurant here with the bright, open, airy uh, spaces. We've got some new marquee venues and something that uh, we don't have on our other ships. We will actually have family staterooms for families of five, and we also will have new solo staterooms. Both of these types of staterooms will be um, ocean view. They are not inside, they are ocean view. So as I said, the, the Coatings Dam 2 will arrive in 2018. Now I'm going to switch over to a video. Um, it's about two minutes. I hopefully uh, it won't lag too much and the sun comes through. But uh, if not, we'll let us just watch the picture for two minutes, and I'll be right back after the video. Welcome to a new era of pinnacle class cruising on Holland America Line. MS Koningsdam. Combining our rich heritage with forward-thinking design. Inspired by the sensual lines and shapes of musical instruments. Entertainment on board Koningsdam takes the spotlight with Music Walk. Featuring three exciting new stages, bringing guests unforgettable experiences. In an exclusive partnership with the world's leading center for the performing arts, we proudly present Lincoln Center Stage, showcasing outstanding chamber music performances. Billboard On Board is a high-energy experience featuring 50 years of chart-topping hits. 
B.B. King's Blues Club brings the best of Memphis music to see. And introducing World Stage, an extraordinary new theater featuring a two-story, 270-degree, high-definition LED screen. The evening's entertainment pairs perfectly with innovative dining and exceptional culinary experiences. A favorite on all of ships, the Culinary Arts Center has been reimagined. Guests enjoy demonstrations and hands-on cooking classes during the day. In the evening, this room showcases a new dinner concept based on the popular farm-to-table movement. At night, in the new two-tiered Lido pool area, feature films are shown on an expansive outdoor movie screen with chair side service from Gelato, New York Deli and Pizza, or dive in for a gourmet burger. Unforgettable experiences await with cruises in Europe and the Caribbean. Back on the ship, guests can unwind in the crow's nest, taking in panoramic ocean views. While kids of all ages enjoy their own special areas on board, new family staterooms offer welcoming, elegant accommodations for up to five guests. And beautifully appointed staterooms and suites have been designed in perfect Holland America line style. MS Koningsdam. Ushering in a majestic new era of cruising on Holland America Line. A new voyage begins April 2016. So hopefully you can see why we're so excited to take delivery of these brand new, unbelievably gorgeous vessels. Uh, we are going to set the standard for what premium cruising is going to be like going into the future. So some of the other things that are really cool about Koningsdam um, that wasn't mentioned in the video was our new um, introducing new um, uh, venue called the Blend, and um, this is our new partnership with Sato Saint Michel, and this uh, will feature um, a room where you can sit about ten to twelve people, and um, the guests can sample five unique wines, uh, featuring such varietals as uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, Cabernet Franc and Merlot, and that's from um, Santo San Michel's Cold Creek Winery and Canoe Ridge uh, Estate Vineries, uh, Vineyards. Um, then, as you taste these, you can then blend your own wine and create your own blend, and then that will be bottled, and you would create a label, and it's delivered to you in the restaurant for dinner, or if you'd like to have it to your stateroom. But it's just a fun way to create your own blend, and we think this is going to be a big hit. Uh, especially in today's uh, with all the foodies and wineies that are out there. I'm more of a beery than a winey, but that's okay. Um, also, uh, we're excited to have in our atrium area a new Grand Dutch Cafe. Now, this is an area that will be uh, staffed by Dutch nationals, and in the morning they'll have coffees and pastries. In the afternoon, uh, there's uh, uh, Dutch tap beer, uh, some snacks. Um, so we're really excited to have the Dutch Cafe. Uh, in the atrium area now, I just want to point out that unlike the coffee houses in Amsterdam, uh, we won't be serving any of that wacky weed, if you know what I mean. Um, so uh, I you know, read that somewhere in a book. I, I never inhaled. I don't know. So uh, continuing on with the rest of the fleet, we're going to be investing over $500 million in our existing fleet uh, between now and 2018. A lot of the great things that will be happening on the Koningsdam will be retrofitted to our Vista and Signature class ships such as the Billboard on Board and the Lincoln Center Stage. We're also redoing all of our suites. Um, actually the Eurodam is in dry dock as we speak right now and she'll come out right before the uh, Christmas cruise with all these new enhancements. We're totally ripping everything out, bring in new uh, court services, new lighting, there's going to be a USB port uh, at your headboard, no, great LED lights for reading, um, new tile floors, new sinks. Uh, so these suites are going to set the standard for what suites will be like uh, in cruising going forward. You know, we're talking about uh, some of our great partnerships, and we've really had some game-changing entertainment uh, brought on board our ships. Currently, we have our BB King Blues Club. 
which is the best of the uh, bands from Memphis. These folks uh, come to us directly from BB King's uh, Blues Club with our relationship with them. There's a seven-piece band with uh, saxophones and trumpets and trombones and guitars and drummers, and they play everything that you can imagine that will get people up on the dance floor. This is not a area to go to sit and watch. They want you to sing. They want you to dance. They want you to get involved. Um, they'll play anything from Stevie Wonder to Alicia Keys, and it's just an unbelievable evening. They play every night, and one night during the cruise, they'll actually put on a big production show in the main show lounge. It's been a huge hit um, in the Queens Lounge, and the dance floor has been packed every night. We're very excited about BB King Blues Club. We're also going to be changing our, um, our piano bars. We're going to be um, changing them over to Billboard on Board. It's our new relationship with uh, Billboard magazine. So this will be a dueling piano type of a situation and also be a, uh, a guitar player there too. Um, so there'll be a lot of uh, interaction with the guests, having fun singing, and they can only play songs that have been on the Billboard hit list. So uh, no more of the boring show tunes only. It's going to be all Billboard um, uh, songs and a lot of fun. And also then uh, our new relationship with Lincoln Center in New York City. Uh, we will have now the Lincoln Center stage. So we will be given from Lincoln Center world-class chamber music because we have a lot of our guests that love uh, that type of music. But as a plus, they're also going to be doing some crossover music. So they'll be doing things like Coldplay and uh, bands like that. Actually, Coldplay is going to be playing at the halftime of the Super Bowl this year. So they'll be actually performing some of those songs too. So on the deck where we have all these three venues, there's going to be uh, what we call the music walk. And if you have been on a Holland American Line ship, you realize you'll never see a long hallway anywhere. And this is by design. Our hallways always bend and curve with little nooks and crannies to make you slow down and relax because we know we want you to have a great time on board and just chill out. So um, this will be our music walk on our vessels. More game-changing entertainment. We're putting in innovative new production video technology in all of our show lounges. You saw in the video uh, the world stage that will be on the Koningsdown that will actually surround you with 270-degree LED screens. Uh, we can't do that in the existing fleet, but we will be bringing those LED screens on, so we will be able to really change up our entertainment quickly. When you bring a production show on the ship, it costs about a million dollars to create the show along with all the props. So by having the LED screens, we can switch them out faster because we won't have to be shipping props in and out. And it's very similar to the technology now that they have in Radio City Music Hall in New York City. So um, this is just a, a chart of the timetable of the rollout. Uh, this is on our travel agent headquarters. So you can see uh, when all the ships be updated with all of these new uh, entertainment features and the suite upgrades. So switching gears a little bit, I'm going to talk about our uh, innovative culinary council. Uh, Rudy Soderman, the uh, gentleman on the uh, left-hand side of the screen uh, with the red uh, ribbon around his neck, he is our master chef. And the last three years running, he has uh, been awarded the best master chef uh, in the cruise industry. Then we have Elizabeth, Elizabeth Faulkner, uh, Mark Best, um, and these folks put together all of our menus and down to the way each plate in the main restaurant has to be delivered. They take photographs and said this is how all of the uh, food should be plated. We also have Johnny Bohr. Uh, he's a famous chef in uh, the Netherlands and he'll be actually bringing his special uh, menu and, uh, and his uh, restaurant called De Libra onto the, uh, onto the ship one night during the cruise in the Pinnacle Grill. So here's a sample of our newly designed menus. So uh, this is a sample of our uh, culinary council chef, David Burke. Uh, there's a little bio about David Burke uh, in, the, uh, in the menu itself. And then it'll be some uh, recipes and dishes that he recommends that he created. Uh, so each night in the main restaurant, you will have uh, a different type of menu by one of our culinary council members. So Hall American Line delivers sophisticated five-star dining um, and we have many options. Currently on all of our ships we have the Pinnacle Grill and we have the Dive-In which is our new hamburger um, place out on the pool area where it used to be the Terrace Grill. Now what we've done is we've gone to uh, serving gourmet burgers so when you go up to order your uh, burger during the day 
uh, instead of having having a burger that was laying in a chafing dish, we actually create them and, and, and cook them to order. So you'll be giving a little buzzer and you'll sit down and when your order is ready, they'll let you know and it's served on a nice tray with a cone of french fries. And since we've gone to serving these gourmet burgers, we've actually doubled the amount of burgers that we are uh, serving. So it's been very well received. We're in the process of changing over all of our pizzerias to a true New York pizza where um, we've got uh, some great recipes from some of our friends in the New York metropolitan area that uh, have shown us how to create a real true New York pizza. Instead of having them uh, pre-made, uh, they actually will be cooking and creating the, the, the pizzas themselves. So a nice thin folding uh, pizza with the oil dripping is going to be delicious. Um, of course, we have tamarind. That will be on the Coney's Dam, on the New Amsterdam, and the Eurodam, and Canaletto, and new. Uh, from the Coney's Dam, that will be a pop-up restaurant on the other vessels in Cell de Mer, our new seafood brasserie, um, featuring uh, dishes like bouillabaisse. So we've got a lot of different options for dining um, and also uh, of the highest quality. We're also updating our Lido concept. You know, uh, all ships have uh, their buffet area, whether it's called the Lido or the uh, Wind something or other, I don't know, some of the other ships. Uh, but most everybody calls it the Lido or the Princess is the Horizon Court. This concept was invented by Holland America Line. So truly to our style, we're actually going to make it uh, better and take it one step further. We're opening this up. This is a sample of what it's going to look like on the Conings Down, but we're also retrofitting the rest of the fleet. There'll be different stations, a bread station, a sweet station, distant lands, uh, wild harvest. So uh, each area will have its own theme. So you'll be able to really uh, take advantage of some of the great uh, preparation of this uh, great cuisine up in the Lido area. Now, if you're familiar with our signature and Vista class vessels, right outside the casino next to the sports bar, there was a nightclub called Northern Lights, um, which really did not um, uh, get a lot of uh, usage. So we're actually going to open that up, that area up. It was a very dark bar before. And we're now having a new gallery bar that will be featured right next to the billboard on board and right before the casino. Uh, it's going to be a great area for uh, some nice casual music. There will be big screen TVs uh, in here where we'll be able to show sporting events, um, football on Sundays and things like that. So it's going to be more like a living room of the ship and it's going to be a great, uh, great enhancement to the Vista class ships. One of my favorite things are classic cocktails. Uh, matter of fact, it's my job on every cruise is to go sample every single cocktail I possibly can. <laughs> well, maybe not. Uh, but we have a new relationship with Dale DeGroff, and he's making sure that we are making cocktails to the best of our ability to make sure that each mojito is done the right way, each Manhattan is created the right way. So uh, we're very excited to have our relationship with this master mixologist to make sure that we're delivering the best uh, possible uh, concoctions that our guests would like to have. So uh, again, rollout timetable for the food and beverage. Um, you can see here uh, that many of the ships will be uh, already done very quickly, uh, but this timetable will be also be on our travel agent headquarters site, so you can take a look at that. Uh, so very, very exciting stuff. So I'm going to change gears a little bit and um, let you know that Holland America Line is the first to have a Alaska app. So you can go um, on the Google Play or um, on the iTunes Store and download the Holland America Line um, Alaska app. And so it's called Holland America Line Alaska. And here you'll have every single bit of information you want to know about Alaska cruising and land and sea journeys. Uh, if you want to know what's going on or what's there to do in Dawson City or in Whitehorse, all that information is there for you. Um, chances are many agents haven't had the opportunity to go to some of these spots, but now you'll have all the data that you never ever wanted to know. Also, um, it'll have all the itineraries, but no pricing. So from the app, you can actually take uh, a screenshot as a PDF uh, of one of the uh, land and sea journeys, if you will, and email that out to your client. So download the app. It's a, it's a great, great tool for you to help you sell um, Alaska for um, 2016. Now, when we talk about Alaska, Holland America Line is the true leader in Alaska. Matter of fact, 
We have more experience in Alaska than any other cruise line going there for nearly 70 years. Uh, we've been going to Alaska since before it was a state. Uh, we go to more places with more ports. We've award, been awarded best itineraries. And the best way to see Alaska is on our spacious mid-sized ship. Um, so there's never, ever, ever crowds along the rail, especially when you go into Glacier Bay. Matter of fact, we have more permits into Glacier Bay than anyone. And um, that is the highlight of someone's Alaska cruise is to go into uh, Glacier Bay. So as you stand out on our teak decks, and we actually have room out on the bow, you can go out uh, to the very front of the ship. Um, you'll see that our great crew will be coming around the decks with trolleys serving traditional uh, Dutch pea soup if it gets a little chilly out there. So again, another little Holland America Line special. So we have more visits to Glacier Bay and Hubbard Glacier than anyone. Uh, we've got double Denali and our exclusive triple Denali trips, and we're the only ones that cover the Yukon. So when it comes to the great land of Alaska and the Yukon, um, Holland America Line is is uh, the absolute leader. So one enhancement we're doing here for 2016 is uh, we're building, it's under construction right now, our base camp at our McKinley Chalets Resort. The McKinley Chalets will now be, because we own the hotel, we bought it about three, four years ago, it's the finest resort hotel at Denali National Park. And what you see here is what we're under construction right now. The building in the back, the longer building, is a restaurant with uh, two-story windows to look out into the park uh, right on the river. Uh, off to the right is the um, area where we'll have the cabin night show. And also that turns into a saloon uh, in the evening. Uh, on the left-hand side, there are some gift shops where you can buy some local uh, 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 trinkets that were made and also uh, there is a uh, service desk. Also you see all the fire pits around so you can sit down and relax in the evening or in the daytime uh, with new friends, with uh, old friends and then in the middle you see some presentation area where we'll have some park rangers uh, doing some presentations about uh, Denali National Park. This is going to be the hub of the McKinley Chalet and we're really really excited to, to be opening up this in 2016. Okay, so when you look at how someone thinks about buying their cruise, this is the sequence they go through. On the upper right in the green, you see they start to dream, they start uh, getting storytelling, they want to go somewhere. Then there's the planning stage where they start to get uh, content from third parties. Then they start to choose and uh, make what uh, the, the cruise they want to go on. Then they start preparing once they've got that done and the anticipation. Of, of going on the journey, then they actually have the journey itself, which is unbelievable. Then they come back and they share all their great stories and photos with their friends, and they thank you for putting them on such a great journey. So this is the cycle that what happens uh, when someone is booking a cruise. So we want to bring some enhancements to this cycle to help you. So we have a new partnership with a farm magazine, uh, and a farm magazine has been around quite a while, and they have some unbelievable content on all these different destinations uh, that we go to. So a farm magazine and a Holland America Line are very much alike. Uh, we like to explore from the inside looking out. Uh, we have a sense of cultural immersion. We want to give you the unexpected, uh, touch on a range of your emotions. We want to be real. Uh, we want to be genuine. We want to promote the connection with the destination. We want to feed the curious. And of course, we want to celebrate our global diversity. So in that vein, um, we have created something that's going to be put up on our website starting uh, in April, and it's our destination guides in partnership with the Far Magazine. So we'll have information about 400 unique ports. There'll be 8,000 recommendations of things to, to go see and do. Um, there'll be new advanced uh, areas and tools that you can, um, you can do this with. Now, um, we also have partnered with uh, a company called Utrip, and I want to show you a little video um, about this new uh, addition to our website, and uh, I think you're going to like this. My name is Gilad Berenstein, and I'm the founder of Utrip. A few years back, I took a trip to Europe, and I planned using books, websites, and lots of pen and paper. The trip itself was great, but I found personalization to be quite challenging. So when I got back, I partnered with psychology professors at the University of Washington who study consumer and decision making to better understand how travelers plan trips. Then we brought in machine learning and artificial intelligence experts 
to create an algorithm that can provide personalized recommendations in real time. Let me show you how it works. When a guest arrives on the page, they can begin by interacting with the great high quality content created by AFAR and discover the many destinations, regions, and ports offered by Holland America Line. Once they know the region they'd like to travel to, they can select it on the drop down and hit submit. Welcome to the regional page, where the guests can get more information about the region, and as they scroll down, they can see the many ports available within it. When they get to the bottom, this is where the personalization experience begins. They can select a predetermined profile or build one of their own. They can continue to personalize further with these levers. The more they play and interact, the more personalized the recommendations will get. They can get more information about the experience available in these regions, and of course, course, always be given a list of recommended cruises and shore excursions. Once they know a specific port they'd like to visit, they can scroll back to the top, select it, and hit submit. Welcome to the port page. When a guest arrives, the first thing they can do is add a port to their wish list. This helps us create more personalized cruise recommendations. They can also interact with the great content created by AFAR. When they get to the bottom, the personalization experience continues. They can select a predetermined profile, and play with the levers. And as you know, this will continue to personalize experience for them. They can get more information about any of the on the ground experiences available in the ports. And of course, always have access to a list of personalized recommendations for cruises and shore excursions. So their list of favorites is always available on the right. We are thrilled to be working with Holland America Line, our hometown cruise line, to create an experience that is all about personalization. Thank you. So we're very, very excited to bring uh, our relationship with UTRIP and a FAR magazine together. And just think, this is all content that's third party. Um, when you go on this new uh, site, you won't be able to book anything. It's all just information. And quite frankly, it could help you uh, a tremendous amount, whether they're booking an All-American Line cruise or not. They could be going on somebody else, like Seaboard. So this will tell you all about what to do in those destinations. Now, we understand that uh, this is going to be housed on our website, and by no means is this meant to bypass our travel agent partners. So we are looking at some technology that we will be able to put a link on maybe some of your sites that would let people access this site just for uh, hunting and, and finding out information, but don't let them go into the rest of our site. They'd have to go back to your site. So we truly want to partner with you. We're bringing you this great content that nobody else has because we don't have the ability to travel to every single cruise and every single destination. This is going to be able to give you some great, great enhancements and make you look like a true professional um, and give you uh, the ability to give out great, great advice. So we have another new groundbreaking partnership that was just announced. And this is our partnership with BBC Earth. Uh, this is going to be a groundbreaking new partnership that will enhance the onboard experience with the very best of the BBC programming, focusing on the world we're cruising in and uh, the destinations being visited. So we'll have access to BBC Earth programming on the ship. We will have Frozen Planet or Blue Planet in concert. This will be a live orchestra, orchestral music with breathtaking footage and pre-recording BBC talent inserts. We'll have game shows and quizzes. We'll have theater screenings with the lead-in from the people that made it happen, we'll have some exhibitions and master classes. We'll even have enhanced educational kids program. So a seven-year-old can become a globetrotting learner too. And we'll also have a couple of theme cruises in the first year with celebrity master classes and how to filmmaking, etc. So we're very excited about this new enhancement that we'll have on the ships. Uh, we'll be um, debuting this sometime next April. So keep your eyes out for uh, our great relationship with BBC Earth. So when you look at Holland America Line and our, our great history, we are the leader in destination and itinerary choices. So we have signature itineraries, which are the most popular itineraries uh, that we have crafted and fine-tuned over the years with classic iconic stops. Then we also have our legendary itineraries, long, deep experience, relaxing type itineraries like we have around uh, South America. So when you compare us to our competitors, uh, let's just say Brand X, I uh, have to just say Celebrity. Uh, so 36% of our departures have one or more overnights in ports. We have 47 scenic cruising experience, over 400 occurrences, uh, 500 plus itinerary options. When you look at the number of ships we have, 
We've got 14, Celebrity has 10. We have uh, 373 ports, Celebrity 256. We have turnaround ports, we embark and disembark 35, they have 30. And we have 100 countries and territories visited, uh, they have 80. You know, one thing to also remember is that um, we design our itineraries, especially in Europe, where you can take collector cruises, where you can go back to back. So uh, if someone's going from Barcelona to Venice, they may as well do Venice to uh, Istanbul and amortize the cost of that airline ticket over the time. And you do get a discount uh, for taking a back to back cruise. And one other thing, too, is we design our uh, menus in the restaurant to be on a, uh, a 28 day cycle. So if you're on the ship for 22 days in a row, you'll never see the same menu twice uh, because we know we have about 30 to 40% of our guests in Europe doing back-to-back -back cruises. So that is, uh, that's quite a feat for our culinary team and uh, really is a great experience for our guests. So let's put this all together. Um, I covered a lot today. So look at the energy and the innovation that's happening at Holland America Line. We have our classic style, which I touched upon, built upon our 142 year history with all the great things that are happening new ships investment in the fleet signature uh, of, of excellent service uh, looking at the culinary uh, and the entertainment we have all these restaurants the new music walk Lincoln Center stage Billboard on board BB Kings our enriching journeys our partnership with the FAR all the information that you can get and our great uh, partnerships with uh, the New York Times Exploration Cafe our digital workshop uh, uh, partner with Windows and our BBC Earth uh, partnership. So when you take a look at refreshing a brand like we are, uh, let's take a look at our rich heritage. Look at these great posters that have been out there over the years from our heritage starting from our, 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 our uh, original headquarters in Rotterdam. Uh, then we have the, the unbelievable Stottendam, one of the most beautiful ships ever built. Um, so, But it's also time now to refresh our look. So, ladies and gentlemen, you'll start to see on our website that um, our signature of excellence tagline will go away, and we're going to have a new logo, and here it is. Holland America Line, savor the journey. This is our new tagline, our new logo, and that makes so much sense because here's our, it's a nice, clean, modern logo, but yet savor the journey because we take you on journeys, and we want you to savor every moment of it, as you can see by all the things we just presented today. So, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you. Uh, take, uh, take a look at our great partnerships um, uh, area on our travel agent headquarters. A lot of uh, unbelievable tools for you. We have a Holland America Land Academy. We have FAM opportunities. And uh, all these uh, information that I, we talked about today will be housed on there. And uh, we want to thank you for your loyalty and support. You guys are great partners. We love working with NACTA, and you guys are the best. So I want to wish you all um, a very, very happy holiday season, and I look forward to uh, having a very profitable relationship with NACTA and friendship going into 2016. Thank you very much. Excellent. Well, thank you, Charlie. And the irony was about two seconds, maybe five seconds for you to announce the new logo someone put in the question mark can you confirm or deny that there's going to be a new and i just laughed i just responded to the person and said how was that for timing right <laughs> that's great <laughs> um one of the questions or and you did a great job charlie thank you so much uh you are always such a wonderful presenter full of knowledge and you have very smooth style and way of presenting everything that it all just flows together this was a lot of information, and I do have to say, I didn't get to go to your session uh, in on uh, Kona, so I'm really glad that you did this, so now I can actually see it all. A lot of this uh, stuff. <laughs> um, let's see. So I just also want to remind everybody that uh, the app's easy to get. Uh, you either go to Google Play or the Apple Store, and I have already clicked on that. So when I reset my uh, iPad, it will be on there. And it does indeed. Thank you, Charlie. It does. I'm glad you pointed it out because it's got a lot of information, and it is a way for us to be able to get information for our clients and I'm really glad that you kind of gave the you know the nudge and the acknowledgement this isn't for people for Holland America to take away our business this is a tool for us to be able to have 
more information while we're mobile because as you know most of us uh, are home based so we go meet our clients so bring your iPad or your tablet you're right there with them and you have all the information so that is a good way of being able to look at it so thank you for presenting that okay the other great thing about that Alaska app is the fact that it has no pricing in it so yep. it's just got great great content and information so um, anyway just want to point that out Excellent. Uh, someone did have a question regarding uh, the new one of the new restaurants, and of course I wrote the note down, but I can't find it. Uh, where they'll be making their own version of wine? Do you have a price on that yet, or is that one of the to be determined? Uh, Actually, we do have a, a ballpark figure for that. So the quality is a very very high quality of wine. So if we served a bottle of that wine in the restaurant, it would probably cost about $75. Um, so with the additional um, tasting and the actual bottling of the wine, the experience is probably going to cost somewhere around $89. Okay, perfect. Uh, we have one agent who's asking if the Amphar uh, excursions that you were referencing, are those going to be guided or uh, on your own tours? Okay, so uh, with the Afar magazine information with the U-Trip uh, where you can slide the levers back and forth, um, there's going to be information about things to do. Um, so you can't really book anything on that site. Uh, it's just going to have um, just information uh, for you to find out, okay, I'm going to go to that restaurant, this restaurant, and then there may be some uh, shore excursion recommendations on the bottom um, and um, so anyway uh, you still will have to go through your normal processes to uh, to actually make some bookings this is just a content only type thing okay and to give them more information I mean unless things have changed uh, Holland America doesn't pay travel agents uh, commission for uh, booking uh, excursions anyways is that policy changed any? Well, actually, we do have sort of a uh, quasi uh, area um, where if you have a group going, we can create a uh, short excursion for your group, and whether it's a deviation from a normal tour that we do or creating something from scratch based upon the needs of your group, and then we'll give you a net rate, and you can mark it up and make money on it. So uh, that's one area where, that's where we do actually give you the ability to make some money on short excursions. Okay, perfect. Uh, one agent asked if you would flip the slide back so that they could see your new logo and branding. There you go. There you go. It's very clean, very yeah. sharp. I like it. It's actually on our it's on our website right now. Got it. Yeah, but it's not at the bottom of your slide presentation. It's not. It's way it's we not. don't even have. We don't have new slides yet, so this is how new it is. <laughs> um, let's see. The next question: Will there be uh, a restaurant cost, extra restaurant cost for the Cell de Mar? Yes, there will be. Um, I'm imagining it's going to be somewhere in the um, twenty-five to twenty-nine dollar range because right now Pinnacle Grill is still twenty-nine dollars, which is the bargain of the industry. Um, and uh, our uh, tamarind is still only $19. So our uh, restaurant charges are somewhat reasonable compared to our competitors. Matter of fact, I was just on a big cruise ship on a conference, and uh, they went to an a la carte type of a charge for the specialty restaurants. And most times I was spending more money than they would at the Pinnacle Grill. And I, I was amazed at how much they were charging for things. Anyway, so we're still reasonable. Well, and one of the things I really want, you know, you made me think of this because uh, I've had so I book a significant amount of Holland America cruises myself for my clients. I really want to thank uh, Holland America. And you know what, Charlie, since you're there, I'll thank you also. Um, one of the ways that Holland America supports working with travel agents is you do on the ship have a future cruise consultant. And so long as your client has you listed as the agent uh, who booked it, 
when they do a future cruise, you will also be listed as the agent and Holland America will contact you to say, hey, by the way, Mr. and Mrs. Smith is now on a uh, Western Mediterranean cruise and they just booked a future cruise for so-and-so. So I really think that's a, a wonderful idea because I know a lot of times we'll have clients who feel, you know, hey, I'm on a ship, I can save you know, $300 on a future cruise if I put a deposit in it, and we never hear about it. You know, mm -hmm. We don't get listed as the agent, the future cruise consultant there doesn't give us credit for it. So I just really want to thank uh, Holland America in covering our backs. You know, right. we work hard to put our clients on your ships. So. Sure, and and you know what, we we know who our partners are, and uh, so we, we we appreciate that. But let me let me talk a little bit about about the future cruise consultant. So uh, we have on our travel agent headquarters an actual flyer that you can print with your logo on it to tell them before they go on their trip to go see the future cruise consultant because you're going to get all these extra benefits on your new cruise. When they sit in front of the future cruise consultant. They will pull up their reservation, and right there in Polar, it says it was booked through you. You automatically get that uh, right back to you. There's also an area in Polar where you can put in your ID and see if any of your past guests just put down a future deposit and, it, and didn't book anything. So that's low-hanging fruit. So you can see all this if you go into Polar online. Um, and lastly, if you have a group on board and then you have a group booked, say, in the future, you can ask the future cruise consultant to do a presentation just to your group about your next group that you have going. So we really want to partner with you in every possible way we can. That's great. No, thank you for letting us know that. I know I was not aware of that, so that's great information. Um, those are all the questions that we have. I want to wish you, Charlie, a happy holiday. I can't believe 2016 is right around the corner. Scary. Um, and thank you for being such a great partner with NACTA. You guys always have our backs covered um, and are always you know, there to support our agents. And I know that I can speak freely for people who aren't here to protect themselves. And and uh, Dawn, as well as Lisa and Bob, they all enjoy working with you. So um, I just wanted to thank you to for them, as well as for all of us on this side who's working so hard to sell your product. So well, have a much. happy holiday, everybody. Charlie, thank you again. I know we'll be working on dates soon to do more webinars, and I look forward to connecting with you. I do too. All right, happy holidays, everybody. All right, bye-bye. Bye-bye.